Ralph Sawyer headed west. He was searching for adventure and the unique perspective promised from wilderness. A promise whispered from mountains and alpine lakes. A promise offered from rivers and the ocean coast. It was 1967. At the time, Sawyer had already achieved success as a canoe marathon athlete and boat builder in the Great Lakes region of the U.S. He was the first inductee of the International Canoe Racing Hall of Fame. The rivers were calling, however. World-class fly fishing in pristine streams, wild water in remote gorges. He found a new life for himself in the Rogue River Valley of Southern Oregon. He ran wild and scenic rivers, fished, and breathed deep in the promise of wilderness. And he began making paddles and oars for the rivers he came to fall in love with. Focused on making the best handcrafted paddles on the water, Sawyer quickly established a name for himself in the river sports industry. With a heritage of quality and innovation, Sawyer Paddles and Oars was born. A lot has changed since then. People are now running whitewater in rubber rafts and plastic kayaks and even on paddle boards. Wooden paddles are now reinforced with carbon fiber, fiberglass, and Kevlar. Sawyer has changed ownership a few times. There have been business successes and failures. The rivers are always changing. 2020 was the first year of a new Sawyer ownership. Spiced with a global pandemic, economic uncertainty, and wildfires raging way too close to its factory in Talent, Oregon, Sawyer is persevering. Today, the new owners of Sawyer walk together in equal partnership. Zach, Israel, and Shane are following in Ralph Sawyer's footsteps, adapting to the always turbulent outdoor recreation market. For over 50 years, what has remained the same is the singular focus on superior design and durability Sawyer is known for. Sawyer's mission of making the best handcrafted paddles and oars on the water with wood sourced in the U.S. and built in Southern Oregon has never changed. Nor has that promise of adventure and new perspectives offered by the call of wilderness.